This whole building and all the people in it are not about teaching specific programming languages. They're teaching uh, life skills and they're teaching attitudes that will make people resilient and creative and dynamic. University education often doesn't have as much conversation as you'd like in it. Here, I've turned some of our lecture courses around so that lots and lots of discussion happens in the classroom and, and in the lecture theatre. And the whole purpose of it is to get people practicing the language. There isn't that sort of old fashioned idea of, you know, the unapproachable professor. You know, the best professor X, he's very senior, don't go and bother him. Uh, it's very much, ah, there's Chris, I'll go and ask him a question. So we're creating opportunities for student innovation and entrepreneurialism. You have to create an environment where people will experiment and do things different. People that will disrupt things. You can wake up, read a paper from a company or from an individual and you think, OK, the world has changed. That means that we need to be flexible in how we teach and also the subjects that we teach. I think we're quite lucky in that Glasgow University is a great place. Glasgow is a great city to live in. And we do cover a wide diversity of very different computing science research areas. The students are being taught by experts in the area, people who are really passionate about these particular subjects and who know the cutting edge. Part of the kind of Glasgow experience is in your first year you're doing three different topics. They can take computer science, get the kind of feel for thinking in that way, then they go away to biology, perhaps come back and do a PhD. And when they need to use computing, they've already got that idea about how they would think through these sort of problems. You might enter thinking that you're definitely going to do this topic, by the time that you get to fourth year, the world's moved on. And there's a huge amount of freedom. When you start looking at the world in terms of processes, then you start getting this very, very rich understanding of what's actually happening out there. As head of school, I'm really trying my best to, to make sure that care for the students and a sense of fun and creativity, a sense of commitment from the staff to the civic principles of the university are shared. 